Not sure on how to find products for a private label in these times? By the end of this video, I will share with you my top strategies that I am currently utilizing to help me find products during these times and not pay attention to SKU numbers that will mess me up. So be sure they stay tuned. For the best Amazon FBA advice, tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I post brand new videos every single week. Now, one of our recent successful students, Walter here, was able to scale his brand new account to over 800 euros per day just a few months after working with my team. So if you like to know how you can get involved, be sure to stay until the end of the video for a very special announcement. Now, when I started looking at numbers during these times, you know, about a month ago or so, and I started looking at products for a private label, uh, you know, some numbers started really looking out of whack for me. And I knew that some of those products used to either, number one, be very good, and now they're very bad, or vice versa. You know, some products were doing, you know, very bad, and now are in just in season, or something was really, you know, uh, going right about them, right? And then I started understanding and realizing that some products are simply considered as essential goods, and people are more inclined to buy them where others, like, you know, products in the beauty category or things that are more of a, a desire, you know, people are not inclined to buy as much, although there are so many people online today simply researching, you know, especially, you know, with Amazon being, you know, having, uh, uh, being, uh, uh, you know, uh, being simply accredited for over 50% of the online shopping, um, all the numbers on Amazon or a lot of the numbers on Amazon are going to definitely be skewed. So, one of the things that I started doing is simply not looking at numbers in March or in April, but literally start looking at numbers in February, January, and even December. Although December things kind of get a little out of whack too, because you know uh, almost everyone really experiences double, triple, maybe even quadruple of sales. So what I would start doing if I was you, looking at private labeling brand new products, you know, starting to wanting to do product research. And um, or maybe you had a product in mind and then now numbers are a little bit different. Don't look at the numbers in March. Don't look at the numbers in April, but really look at the numbers in February and in January. Okay. And then you might say, but when I go to run my Chrome extension, the Chrome really only shows me the last 30 days. And then if you look at, you know, today's date, what is today? Today's the 14th, right? 13th, 14th. If you look at 30 days, you know, prior or previous to today's date, that's still within the pandemic when things really, you know, started happening, when the quarantine happened, when the whole world kind of went into panic attack. So, you know, that's what the numbers that I have are really telling me. How exactly do I go back to February and January? Now, I personally use a, a tool called Helium 10, which many of you guys here know what that tool is. So if you want to use Helium 10 or if you use Helium 10, there is a tool within Helium 10 called Trendster and that will actually show you the trend, how the product is trending. That's one of the tools that I personally utilize to also tell me how, um, you know, if the product is seasonal or not, right? Because I don't look for products that are seasonal. I look for products that are in season all year long that can actually make me money all year long. Now, if you are not, or if you don't have Helium 10, uh, one of the links in the comment section is going to be, you know, it's, it is my affiliate link. Um, I do get paid when you, whenever you sign up, but you also get a discount. You will get 50% off your first month and then 10% off every month thereafter. So if you'd like to sign up, be sure to use that link. But I would use that. I know Jungle Scouts also has another tool. I believe it is called Product Tracker within the keyword, uh, um, you know, the keyword search but I'm not sure if they still offer that feature. I know that was something that I used to use, but any tool that you utilize should have some type of a, um, like a product tracking and don't focus on numbers within March and April, but start looking at numbers on January and February, and then simply base your decision off of those numbers instead. The winner for last week's giveaway is William White. William, congratulations. Now, if you'd like to enter to win the free weekly giveaway for my Amazon FBA step-by-step -step guide, be sure to drop BJKU in the comment section. Now, another thing that I really wanted to discuss in this video is this, and this is very important because a lot of people are going after essential goods. You know, they're looking at, well, you know what? Once the pandemic happened, everyone was going crazy about wanting to buy paper towels and toilet paper and sanitizer are in, you know, in now and, and, and face masks and gloves and all the cleaning supplies. So I'm going to start launching these. Well, here's the bad news. Number one, 
a lot of these products, Amazon is not even allowing you to actually even sell, right? So I tried to, to uh, sell a bundle with, um, with, you know, with uh, sanitizer, gloves, uh, mask, you know, a bunch of other things. And I just simply wasn't able to get approval because Amazon is not allowing people to sell. The second thing is that Amazon is taking down a bunch of these listings because there has been a bunch of price, price gougers and people just selling you know, these items for a crazy amount of numbers and Amazon doesn't like that, right? They want to be the trusted platform that people, their customers could trust it to come and get the best deals for the best products possible. So if you are trying to look for the essential goods, stop. Because number one, this pandemic is not gonna last forever. And, 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 and you know, the, the truth is, by the time you find a supplier, by the time you, your supplier manufactures your good, by the time the shipping, you know, and gets to Amazon, you might be 30, 60 days out. And by then, things might have slowed down a little bit. And then your sales are just going to simply start decreasing. The second thing is, a lot of times with these, you know, essential goods or the products that people are going crazy about and trying to stock up on, are competitive, you know, because they're products that are very common. They're products that people have been selling and buying for decades and then that many people already know about. And that's kind of one of the biggest mistakes that beginner Amazon sellers make is that when they start wanting to sell on Amazon or online or anything, they start looking around their house. Like, what am I a consumer of? What is it that I buy all the time? Which is kind of a, a good way to kind of think about it because yes, if you buy it all the time, it probably does very well online or on Amazon specifically. But the problem is, just because you are thinking about it, that should kind of tell you that it's that easy and that so many other people are also thinking about it and it's just that competitive. So don't look at what is in right now, look at what it can be in for the rest of the year, years to come. And that's kind of one of my personal main, you know, criterias is that I look for products that can make me money you know, moving forward and for months and years to come, I don't look for products that are trendy or that are in for right now, like the fidget spinner, you know? I know a lot of people that made really good money, but it was short-lived, you know? It was a fluke, they did good and that's it. And then their, their business just simply died down. Now, I really hope that the last few minutes that we've been together have really shed some light and, um, you know, on your quest and answered some of your questions. Now, if you are really interested in this Amazon thing and you want me personally to walk you through the journey step by step, I have made available a couple spots on my team's calendar where we'll jump on a call with you, answer your questions, you know, come up with a game plan for you and see if working together is a good fit. So if you'd like to be considered, first link in the description below is gonna to be to an application. Fill it out and let's jump on a call. Once again, guys, Bashar Katu here. I really do appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and also share it with a friend of yours that would find this content valuable. Aside from that, I will see you guys in the next video. Have yourselves a great day and take care.